This is the new body style, you can tell. The headlight has changed right here. The color is spectacular. It's very nice. It's the STX version 4x4. So, it is a very nice driving truck. I guess we'll get inside and we'll start driving it. However, this is where the CNG cylinder is behind that toolbox cover and I got the development high pressure gauge there installed the fuel fill receptacles right here and this is direct injected so it'll be a mixture All right, let's open the doors all right well let's start driving and I'll we'll talk about it a little bit today has come for me to go pick up the E30 1987 325 E, but I'm converting it to IS sort of look bumpers and everything else so we finally get a chance to go pick it up so I'm in a truck right now with a trailer already loaded or not loaded but strapped you can see in the mirror a little bit so we're ready to go so we're gonna make a one more stop coffee time here's a coffee so don't you get them say hello to the viewers hello they haven't seen you in a while where you been hiding <laughs> Look at Florida. you, <laughs> Florida. Did you come back because of the storm? Uh, yeah. Exactly. The storm pushed you out. <laughs> the storm pushed the Romans out. <laughs> let's go get the car. Right, let's go get the car. So we have 135.4 miles on this truck. And first things first, new command since it's a STX version. You can see the console. And the, the screen here is huge for the display screen, for your media. Um, other than that, it's similar, like this is all the same as 17, stairwell, the seats are very unique, I like the design and the seats they have, but once again, it's the STX version, and of course we got the crew cab, so you can see that the back is so much room here, leg room, the seats fold up, it's it's a very, crew, crew cab is a big truck on the inside, it is big, so two USB ports in here, your lever here you got a trailer bag back up i don't know how that works but let's see okay, this is the screen shows i don't know how that works yet so i'll figure it out later of course it has the bluetooth option already hooked up my phone the other option it has it has the engine there you go auto start stop deactivated by a switch so that means that when i drive uh, through the city and i want to be efficient fuel efficient so it'll shut off at stop signs or red lights but i uh in the highway i really don't need it all right roman we're continuing oh, we're back yes we're back you like my did i just get what i was supposed to get here yeah. there she is is that a she or a he it's a it it's a it <laughs> Gotta be a what do you think, yo? My little boy right here. What color is it gonna be? Awesome color. I kind of like this red. Huh? I kind of like this red. Red. Sweet, yo. Very nice. Definitely is beautiful here on I-40 uh, going west. So basically uh, this new truck that I'm driving, the 2018 F-150 direct injected 5.0 liter. As far as right now, I cannot complain about anything. I mean, I love the stability of the truck, the, the steering. It's very, just, you can feel the vehicle. It's not, it's not a, what you like to say a Toyota steering. So you can definitely just feel the vehicle, uh, full control of the vehicle, that's what it feels like. Uh, everything else, like, like I said earlier, is just uh, it's a STX version, so it has a center console. Uh, the truck drives amazing. I mean, it is amazing. Oh yeah, one more thing that I noticed different is also is you have a parking brake now that instead of the pedal, you can actually pull it. So that's kind of new. That's sweet right there. I haven't used it yet really, but I forgot to show you that, guys. So, but anyway, so let me continue my journey. The plan is to get to Bodil Engineering tonight and. This truck is going to be converted to CNG, the 2018 5 volt liter. So, uh, we'll see. For now, I'm just going to enjoy my drive. Okay, got the car all loaded and ready to go back to the shop. Well, to our shop. So, 
Tim, awesome job. Everything looks great on the car. Looks very good. So, good job, Tim. So, <clears throat> I currently pulled into the CNG station down in Kentucky. And I definitely have to fuel up because I'll be converting the car over today to natural gas. Uh, I'll need CNG. It's not going to be. I can't move it until the software will get uploaded. So, it'll be standing still. But when the software gets uploaded, we'll have CNG ready in there. So what I'm going to do is open the valve and I don't know how I'm going to do that so I don't think I can get my hand behind that so I got to loosen up all the bolts oh goodness <sighs> glad I got my tools with me I almost didn't take them but I think I'll be converting this car over this time around uh, alright I'm going to go ahead and take this cover off I only took off four bolts so I can get to the valve so the valve is right there right there. I'm gonna open it and it is it's close I'm good there we go there we go I'm gonna keep this fully open okay and then we'll put all this stuff back Viewers, subscribe to my channel to see more of awesomeness. <laughs> you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. <laughs>